Hi guys, it feels so good to be sitting down and filming. I feel like it's been forever with how crazy this last month has been. I've moved. This is the first video in the new office and if you'd like to see a tour of the new place, that was my last video so I will have that linked down below. But yeah, we moved at the beginning of October and then just a few days later we packed up and we were out of the country for a couple weeks traveling in Scotland and Italy and we had the best time but it is nice to be back and kind of getting unpacked and settled into the new place just kind of back to my normal routine. So today I'm doing a favorites video because I didn't do one for September. It was on my list of things to do and then just with the move and the chaos, it didn't get done before I left. So this is like a September, October, current fall favorites type of video and I'm going to show you guys what I've been loving recently. First up is my go-to lip color from the last month. This is the YSL Volupt Sheer Candy in number five, which is a really pretty kind of deep plummy red color. What I love about these lipsticks is they're more like a balm and they're sheer and just very easy to wear. It's very moisturizing on the lips. It's not too high maintenance. It's not gonna get all over my teeth. I don't need to wear a lip liner with it or anything. And these also smell really, really good. My next favorite is what I'm wearing on my nails right now. This is the only thing I've been wearing for the last few weeks. It is the Nails Ink Gel Effect Polish in Noble Street. I'm loving this color because it's a little bit lighter than the deep, kind of plummy berry red shades that you see in the fall. So if you don't like those colors that once you paint them, your nails kind of look almost black or very, very dark, this one's just a little bit lighter and I think it's such a nice shade. Also, this is one coat. This polish is so opaque and because it is their gel effect formula, it really wears a lot longer than normal formulas. Next up, I have a lash primer to share with you guys. And I have to say, I have never been somebody who regularly uses lash primers. I have tried a couple of primer and mascara duos or combinations in the last six months or so that I liked, but this is just always a step of my routine that I've never felt was necessary. But about six weeks ago, I opened up a new tube of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and I've used this before about a year ago, and I loved it. So I opened a new tube and I started using this, and it worked completely differently on me. I don't know, does that ever happen to you guys where you'll use a product and you'll love it, and then like a year later or however long later, you'll try it again and it'll seem like a different product on you? This was smearing underneath my eyes so badly. And I wasn't rubbing my eyes or anything, it just was smearing, giving me raccoon eyes. And it was so bad that after a few days, I wanted to throw it in the trash. I was like, I can't even wear this. But I decided to try a primer underneath it. And this is the Urban Decay Subversion Lash Primer. And oh my gosh, what a difference this product has made. This mascara now does not transfer at all. And also this just amplifies this so much more. Like builds up my lashes, makes them more volumized. It's just been awesome in every way. So now I feel like I need to always have a primer now with my mascara after seeing what a difference this has made. If you are having issues with your mascara smudging or not wearing as well or whatever, I would highly recommend trying this. My last makeup favorite that I wanna share with you guys is an eyeshadow palette that I rediscovered during my decluttering session about five, six weeks ago. I filmed that, I will have that video linked down below if you want to see a makeup clear out. I was going through my eyeshadows and I pulled out my Dior Kirkinage, Kirkinage, I'm never entirely sure how to pronounce that. This eyeshadow palette that I bought about a year ago, I think I bought it last fall during the Sephora VIB sale so I could get 20% off of it. This is such a beautiful neutral palette and I was really into it for about a month when I bought it last fall and then it got kind of rotated back into the drawer and not pulled out again. So I decided to put it back in the rotation and really get some use out of it. So this is the only thing I took with me on my trip. I really like that it has a matte color here in the middle to just do kind of that normal blending best friend type color in the crease. And then it has some really pretty deeper colors for fall and a light shimmery shade for all over the lid. And I've been using this really dark color on an angled brush for my eyeliner even. That's how I have my makeup done today and I just cannot get enough of this palette. I'm so glad that I pulled it back out and I'm actually getting use out of it. I have a couple of beauty favorites from the drugstore to share with you. The first one is the Alba Botanica Hawaiian Hand and Body Lotion. I've been using this as my all over kind of neck to toe post shower body lotion and it feels so nice and hydrating on my skin and it smells really, really good. It has kind of like a coconut, 
nutty type scent to it. This is especially good at this time of year when my skin is a little bit more dry because it has cocoa butter, vitamin E, shea butter, and jojoba, macadamia, flax, and sunflower oils in it. So it's definitely targeting those drier areas. And then my other favorite from the drugstore is the Aveeno Nourish and Condition Leave-In Treatment. This is like a spray detangler for your hair. And actually, I didn't get this from the drugstore. I ordered this from Amazon Prime Now, which in bigger cities, if you haven't heard of it, it's like a one hour Amazon delivery service. So places that have a big Amazon warehouse, you like place an order and then they have a carrier. It's like Postmates, they just come with your Amazon order within an hour and deliver it to you. And one night, it was really late at night and I think I needed like a couple of random things as well as detanglers. So I went on Amazon Prime now and they had this on there and I'd used the shampoo and conditioner from this line before and really liked it. So I was like, yeah, let's try it out. And it's been really good. So I use this when I get out of the shower before I've combed out my hair. I just spray this all around and it makes it a little bit easier to comb out and adds a little extra moisture. And then the last favorite I wanted to share with you guys is a tech favorite. It's an app that I discovered about a month ago when I was about to go through the move and get ready to like pack for the trip and everything. I wanted something to organize like my tasks and to do's a little bit better than I could in my paper planner because you guys know I love my Erin Condren life planner. But when you're using a paper planner, you're kind of limited on space if you need to make a list of like 50 things you need to do or like everything you need to pack for a trip. So I was looking for something that I could really put a lot of information into. The app is called Wonderlist. I have it here on my iPad. And if you are a list maker, this is the app for you because you can make pretty much unlimited to-do lists and then flip between them. So I have lists like for the day, like I have just days of the week and I'll add things to that or I'll have like work to do's or grocery lists. But the most satisfying thing is when you check something off, I'll do it right now. It dings at you. So at the end of the day, you get to go through and like ding, 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 ding your whole list. And it's so satisfying. And this syncs between, at least like on iOS devices, it syncs between everything. So I have the app on my phone too. So I can pull it up on my phone if I'm on the go and I can check things off there or add things. And it has been really helpful when I was getting ready for the move. I had like all the, you know, like contact movers and, and pick up keys here and turn in keys here and all the millions of things you have to do when you're moving. And then for packing for the trip, I had clothes and shoes and beauty stuff to pack and tech stuff to pack. And I was able to organize all of that. And it's been really helpful. So that's it for my current favorites, the things that I am loving right now. Let me know what you're loving down in a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.